Now we're going to learn how to rank foods using SWOT. As a reminder, the three nutrients that we are looking at are sodium, saturated fat, and sugar. So we can categorize food as either green, yellow, or red. Green foods are low in saturated fat, sodium, and sugar. Yellow foods have medium levels of fat, sodium, or sugar. And red foods have high levels of fat, sodium, or sugar. Here are some quick tips. Foods that are green are all fresh fruits and vegetables, whole eggs, whole grain bread, pasta and tortillas, brown rice, skim, 1% and 2% milk, plain water, coffee, and tea. Foods that are yellow are 100% fruit juice, regular white bread, pasta and tortillas, white rice, whole milk, most peanut butter, and plain dried fruit like raisins. Foods that are red are desserts like ice cream, cookies, and cake, candy, most processed or packaged snacks, and regular soda and juice drinks. Some foods that are not ranked are condiments like salad dressing and sauces, cooking staples like flour, sugar, oil, and spices, baby food, and nutrition supplements such as Ensure or protein powders. This is a can of corn. We're going to focus on the column on the right for the serving that is one-third cups of drained corn. Canned corn is considered a vegetable. It has zero grams of saturated fat, which is green. It has 210 milligrams of sodium, which is green. And it has zero grams of added sugar, which is green. This can of corn is considered a green food. This is a can of mixed nuts. It is considered a protein. It has 1.5 grams of saturated fat, which ranks as green. It has 40 milligrams of sodium per serving and zero grams of added sugar and one gram of total sugar. This can of nuts is considered a green food. This is a microwavable bag of whole grain brown rice. It is considered a grain. You can see on the bottom left of the image, there is a whole grain label. If you look at the ingredients list, the first ingredient besides water is whole grain rice. For a grain to be green, it must meet the saturated fat, sodium, and sugar criteria, and the first ingredient must be whole grain. Now let's look up at the nutrition facts panel. We are looking at the second column, which is the whole package, which is considered a serving for this food. It has zero grams of saturated fat, which is green, 25 milligrams of sodium, which is green, zero grams of added sugar, and less than one gram of total sugar. This green food is considered a green food. Now, what if the food has two different rankings? What if the food ranks yellow for two nutrients, but red for one? And what if the food ranks green for two nutrients, but yellow for one? When this happens, we rank the food using the least encouraged rank of color. Let's take a look at some examples. This is a can of Chef Boyardee SpaghettiOs. It is considered a mixed dish. This food has 3.5 grams of saturated fat, which is yellow. It has 600 milligrams of sodium, which is red. Now for sugar. Note that this product does not list the added sugars. When possible, use the added sugar value when available. If it is not available, use the total sugar value. Since this food does not list the added sugars, we're going to use the total sugars. It has eight sugars, which is yellow. So saturated fat and sugars rank as yellow and sodium ranks as red. In this case, we will use the least encouraged rank of color, which is red. This can of SpaghettiOs is considered a red food. This is a jar of peanut butter. It is considered a protein. This food has 3.5 grams of saturated fat per serving, which is yellow. It has 100 milligrams of sodium, which is green. It has one gram of added sugars and two grams of total sugars, which is green. So sodium and sugars rank as green for this food, but saturated fat ranks as yellow. In this case, we use the least encouraged rank of color, which is yellow. This peanut butter is considered yellow. For more information, go to foodshare.org. When you're there, look for the Swap Toolkit. And when you're ranking food, be sure to refer to the swap guide, which is pictured on the right side of the slide. 
Thank you for listening, and I hope this has helped you.